Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into the world of a medication called Siltacaptogene Autolysol, commonly known by its brand name, Carvicti. As with all our discussions, this is meant for educational purposes. If you have health-related questions or concerns, always reach out to a medical professional. Description Siltacaptogene Autolysol, often recognized by its brand name Carvicti, is a type of CAR-T cell therapy. It falls under the category of immunotherapies, specifically engineered to help the body's immune system target and destroy cancer cells. Carvicti is primarily prescribed for the treatment of adults with relapsed or refractory multiple myeloma, particularly after they have received at least four prior lines of therapy, including a proteasome inhibitor, an immunomodulatory agent, and an anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody. This medication was approved by the FDA in 2022. Carvicti works by modifying the patient's T-cells, a type of white blood cell, to express a chimeric antigen receptor, CAR, that targets B-cell maturation antigen, BCMA, on multiple myeloma cells, allowing the T-cells to recognize and kill these cancer cells. Warnings Carvicti comes with significant precautions due to its potent mechanism of action. It carries a risk of serious side effects, including cytokine release syndrome, CRS, which can be life-threatening and involves a systemic inflammatory response. Neurological toxicities, including severe or fatal cases, have also been reported. It is essential to administer Carvicti in a certified healthcare facility where patients can be closely monitored and immediate medical interventions can be provided if necessary. Patients should also be aware of the potential for prolonged low blood cell counts, cytopenias, infections, and hypogammaglobulemia, a condition of low levels of antibodies. Before taking this medicine. Before starting Carvicti, several factors need consideration. It is essential to inform your healthcare provider if you have any allergies to the drug or its components. Given its impact on the immune system, those with active infections should discuss potential risks and benefits with their doctor. It is crucial for women of childbearing potential to use effective contraception before, during, and for a certain period after treatment, as Carvicti may harm an unborn baby. Additionally, breastfeeding should be avoided during treatment and for some time after the last dose. Regular monitoring, including blood tests and other assessments, is necessary to ensure the patient's safety and the drug's efficacy. Patients should not receive live vaccines within a certain period before, during, and after treatment with Carvicti. Inform your doctor about any medical conditions, including heart problems, liver problems, and any history of neurologic events. If you are scheduled for surgery or any other medical procedures, let your doctor know, as this may affect your treatment plan with Carvicti. Side Effects All medications can have side effects, and Carvicti is no exception. Some common side effects include fatigue, fever, nausea, headache, and low blood counts, anemia, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia. More serious side effects can include cytokine release syndrome, CRS, with symptoms such as high fever, difficulty breathing, low blood pressure, and multi-organ dysfunction. Neurological toxicities may present as confusion, seizures, or severe headaches. Infections, including life-threatening ones, can occur due to the immune system being compromised. Regular monitoring for signs of infection, such as fever, chills, or other symptoms, is crucial. Hypogammaglobulemia can lead to increased susceptibility to infections and may require treatment with intravenous immunoglobulin, IVIG. Furthermore, Carvicti may cause prolonged low blood cell counts, which can lead to increased risk of bleeding, bruising, and infections. Other potential side effects include liver enzyme elevations, which necessitate regular liver function monitoring. Interactions Carvicti might interact with other medications. It is of utmost importance to inform your doctor about all medications, supplements, and herbal products you are currently taking to avoid any adverse interactions. Avoid live vaccines during and after treatment with Carvicti as it can affect your immune system's ability to respond to the vaccine. Dosage Correct dosage is vital for the effectiveness of any medication. Carvicti is administered as a one-time infusion following a conditioning regimen of chemotherapy. The dose is customized based on the patient's weight and health status. Adhering to the treatment protocol recommended by your healthcare provider is crucial. Regular monitoring and periodic checkups can help ensure the drug's efficacy and safety. Avoid While on Carvicti, it is advisable to stay well hydrated and maintain a healthy lifestyle to support overall well-being. 
Given the potential for dizziness or neurological symptoms, caution should be exercised when performing activities that require full alertness. Avoid live vaccines and discuss any planned vaccinations with your healthcare provider. FAQ Many wonder about the age restrictions for Carvicti. Currently, its safety and effectiveness in individuals younger than 18 have not been well established. It is always best to consult with a healthcare provider for any specific queries related to this medication. Closing That wraps up our overview of Carvicti. Remember, this information aims to educate and should not replace professional medical advice. Always consult with a healthcare provider for any questions or concerns. Thank you for tuning in.